Uh, we're doing some research on the greys for Dutch. So let's go ahead and uh, jump in there and find out what we can find. Hopefully we won't uh, have anything bad. Wow, this is kind of cool. I like how you can go through the corn. I really like how you can go through the corn and the plants and stuff like that. It's pretty sweet. All right, we're going to head to that uh, building there. See what we can find out. I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Looks like we gotta start asking some questions to find out more about the Greys. Let's do it. Let's talk to this guy that's uh, pushing your room. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and... Uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Okay, we know who to talk to. I just wanted to go inside there. Partner. One thing I've noticed about these guys is they got a lot of guns. Mister. Not a very talkative bunch. Oh, this is neat. I like how they got the hedgerows. A little small, but kind of neat. Howdy. Hey, sir. A lot of guns, a lot of guns. Don't want to get into gunfight here. Well, let's see, do I have dynamite? I don't have dynamite. All right, let's look for this guy. That didn't work. That might be it. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, <laughs> looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains, mind, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Okay. Looks like we gotta go to the uh, Braithwaite Manor. This is nice how they did the... I like how they did this. 
Oh, that's cool. You can just run right through it. That is awesome. All right, we're going to head over to the uh, Brathwaite, Brathwaite Manor. There's a horse here somewhere. Where is that horse? Oh, horse is coming. You better follow that order, right? <laughs> we'll just start walking this way. Horse will follow. Is this neat? I like how what they did with this, how they created a plantation and stuff. It's kind of cool. This is this is really neat. I like it. Okay. All right, we're gonna head over to the uh, Brathaway. If I pronounce it right, I'll probably pronounce it like three different ways. The uh, Brathaway Manor. Your trusty steed here. I'm just gonna follow the yellow line. Alright, I'm going to take a little break here and look at the map. And maybe a little stealth once I'm inside of the circle range. Alright, losing the horse. What is this guy doing here? Has he got a gun? He has a gun. Howdy. He doesn't like me. Okay, let's try. Uh... Let's use a hog tie strategy here. back and haunt me. Let's see if I can be stealthy here. Penelope. Oh boy. Bunch of guards. Stealth. Stealth time. Stealth time. Penelope's somewhere on the map. Oh boy. I may have to hog tie this guy. I'm in the bushes somewhere. Good news is it's foggy out. The bad news is there's a guard looking. Maybe I can go the long way. Oh, he's looking the other way. Okay, good. Let's keep sneaking around here. Try to avoid confrontation here if possible. Why do I see the yellow circle way over there? All right, I'm gonna get behind this building and figure out what's going on. Oh, she's over there, okay. I'm gonna jump in the water and go for a swim. There she is. And there's a horse there too. Not our horse, of course. 
Let's talk to her. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Why, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, I, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Oh boy, gotta leave the area without being seen. I like the fog. Fog is very helpful for hiding, I believe. All right, gonna continue heading south once we get on the ground. No one sees me. Right, we got to go back to uh, for you. Not again. Horse is out of range, I believe. Mister, good evening, bud. Horse is back in range. There's a horse. All right, let's check our map and go back. Somewhere to the east. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'll keep going. Might need a bite to eat here. Let's see what I got. No, that's not quite it. Let's see what else there is. All right, horse fence jumping time. Something got burnt out over here. Looks like uh, trenches from a uh, civil war. Yeah. If you explore it in more detail, I think it, it appears to be that. All right, let's head back to that uh, other manor. If we can get there in time. Oh, 
<laughs> Here we are. Kalia. Gonna be a little more aggressive, a little faster here. Where is Bu Gray? In here somewhere. Okay, he's doing the horse. Let's see if we can talk to him real quick. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. This mission gets deeper and deeper. We get to ride the horse. Oh boy. Come on, come on. Gotta hurry. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Sounds good. Let's go. Oh boy. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well... I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> this will right, be fun. Ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Now, now, take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need the to his real name. We'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. 
Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Easy there. Head home! Head home! Oh, go give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get your hands! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you the doing? hell is going on? Well, man! Oh my God! Good shit! Cause all this trouble! You don't even know what you're doing! Get your mouth! 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 Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great day for all of us. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Ah. 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 His philosophy hey. on biology, What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Oh, you learn oh boy. Manners, cousin. Confused you time. Anything better to do? Oh, you always were. Bo, where are we just leaving? <laughs> Who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. All right, mount the horse. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield. No one goes to. Is that the battlefield I just went through? That'd be awesome. Oh, this could be fun. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets and we bury Braithwaites. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. All right, let's get to this battlefield. Oops, I went too far. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. 
When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Thirty bucks. And it uh, looks like we completed that uh, part of the mission. Thanks for watching.